Hello and welcome to today's event. Today we're going to look at ChatGPT, not Model 3.5, but Model 4. So let's go into our sidebar there. Notice uh, there's the sidebar where I can get new chats whenever I want them. And I suggest, unless you're using the same topic over and over again, that you get your new chat. This is super important and uh, you may encounter problems if you forget to do that. So this is what I've done today, as you can see. Going to uh, scroll down until I get to the settings. Notice my plan. I can clear the conversations. Uh, go to settings, which is what I'm going to do right now. Go into settings and notice what's available under settings. You can get the beta features and that is plugins and a code interpreter. So let's see what that looks like. Okay. So let's start with a new chat. We're going to uh, close the sidebar. If you don't know how to do that, uh, this is how you do it. You simply go into where I'm pointing to right now and click on it. So there it is, top left, going to click on it and notice what happens. The sidebar closes. Now I've got two options here, chat GPT 3.5, which is available to everyone and chat GPT 4, which is the latest since May and only available to those who have ChatGPT+. Now, you don't have to have this, but um, I really recommend it if you're using ChatGPT a lot. If not, then ChatGPT 3.5 is fine. You can also use it on your iPhone if you have an iPhone. Right, so we're going to go into the plugins. Click on that, and these are the three plugins that I've added so that uh, they're available to me whenever I need them. So notice there's one where uh, voice over, convert text into natural sounding speech. Uh, the next one is uh, diary. I want to show that. And then uh, I think that uh, if I can scroll down and see which ones I have so far, I might want to go have Roshi open there. So um, you can only have three. So let me see, I'll take off the web, add Roshi, I don't need this. And um, these are actually my favorite ones. All right, so let's uh, go into the plugin store and see what's available there. Go into that. Now you can search for plugins. Now plugins are huge right now. As you know, uh, ChatGPT is open source, but that doesn't mean that it's free. Open source, yes, which means that others can create plugins and they can charge for it if they wish. So uh, there, Expedia, notice, has a uh, an AI, ChatGPT AI, Zapier. Um, what I usually do if I'm looking for something, chat with PDF, which is kind of nice too is uh, just write the letter and then I can see what's available under the letter A, for example. And that's what you can do as well. B and uh, and so on. And new ones are being added every single day. Uh, and and it's really fast. I mean, this is moving really, really fast. Uh, these are some new ones. Let's get rid of the B there. Um, the latest ones. And if you check every day, you'll see a lot of New ones, notice Coursera also has one uh, prompt to recruit and you get explanations. Um, you install it by uh, clicking on it and then you're able to get it. Notice here, hu human eyes, um, not all of them act the same way and some of course you need to pay for. Notice this one, you need to uh, log in to that particular one with uh, another authentication system right now. I've used Google because that's the one that's available. So I can log in with Google to get that one. Notice um, if it doesn't work to log in, it means that you need to uh, create an account. But since I have an account. So here I can rephrase whatever I get. Chat GPT. So let me go into Chat GPT. Have a great day. 
in more words. Okay, so uh, that's really something that I can get. Chat GPT always has more words. In fact, it has a lot more words. Um, okay. Um, so notice here, are you looking for ways to express, have a great day in a more elaborate manner? Um, so I can say yes and have a conversation going here. So sure, there are a few ways to express, have a great day. And then they list different things. So, uh, I can ask, write it in an essay, essay form. Okay. Instead of a list. So then we get certainly, uh, so have a great title. They also give you a title. Isn't that amazing? So then I'm going to copy this. Now notice with a rephrase, you can't add the whole thing. Uh, it's just a rephrase. So what I'm going to do is, um, okay. Notice you get a whole essay here. Uh, I'm going to take the first paragraph because you can't take too much for the rephrase and add insert the text there and then get results that's just an example of one um, plugin that you can use and here it says a few seconds now some of these aren't as uh, fast as others the ones that aren't fast enough i tend to forget about but yeah you know, of course this was pretty fast you can copy it like that or you can just go over here and copy it that way. So that's a, a plugin that you can use. Let's go back into our sidebar because that's where we're going to get the plugins. Go into my account and then settings. Under settings, we're going to click on beta for that. And then uh, go to the top here. And then um, we can go into chat GPT-4, the plugins. And then um, here we are. And then simply scroll there. You go into the point, the arrow pointing down, scroll down until you get to the plugin store. All right. So we're back here with uh, the new. You can also go into the popular. Now notice how many new there are, <laughs> right? Um, there are a lot of new ones. So you might as well go through alphabetical order to get so we're going to go into the popular, see which ones are popular. Notice only two pages are popular. I guess a lot of people aren't aware of what's going on about the plugins for chat GPT. They may be aware of other things, AIs. So here we are. Uh, we are uh, going to get speak, install speak. And speak is now installed. So let me get rid of that. And there you go. There's speak. It's right there. Oh, I asked uh, ChatGPT speak uh, plugin is used, how to use the speak plugin. So it explains how to use it. And then it gives me an example how I might use the translate API. Now notice what I did here. Um, I use speak and this is how it's done request to speak the phrase hello how are you translates into so you're not getting any voice here you're just getting a translation of speech let's uh, go back here and go into the headset there. now notice my question how do I get ChatGP to speak with a record plugin and it's called voiceover. Sure, I've converted the text, hello, how are you, to speech. You can listen to it by clicking on the following file. Okay, so this is um, how you use request to voiceover. Okay, so whatever you want, whatever kind of voice you want. So we can add that uh, here. And then the text that we want. right? Okay, so here we go. We're looking for audio. So let's turn up our volume. And there it's being processed. It's not ready yet uh, because I added a really long test. text. And then notice you can change it from female to male. Um, and I think we've got too many of these here, but that's okay. We can't really erase it. So uh, it's still being processed. Once it's done, you'll get a chance to hear what I asked and of course what I got.
So here we are. Uh, it's ready. We're going to click on listen in case you missed that. Let me show it to you. Uh, there is the listen to audio file and it takes you. I don't really like the fact that it takes you anywhere. Remember, these are plugins and they were created by ChatGPT. They used ChatGPT to create the plugins. So let's go there now, click on it, and here we go. Scarcity mindset is a belief that there is not enough of a resource to meet all needs or wants. This could apply to various aspects of life, such as time, money, opportunities, or other resources. This mindset is often related to a fear of loss or deprivation, and can lead to stress, anxiety, and a reduced sense of well-being. It can also create a self-fulfilling prophecy, where fear of scarcity actually leads to behaviors that create more scarcity. For example, in terms of money, a person with a scarcity mindset might constantly worry about not having enough, be overly frugal, and resist spending money even on things that could improve their life or generate more income in the future. They might also avoid opportunities due to fear of risk or failure. Changing a scarcity mindset involves shifting towards an abundance mindset, where you believe there is enough for everyone and that it's possible to create or find more of what you need or want. Here are some strategies to make that shift, identify scarcity thoughts, recognize when you're having thoughts stemming from scarcity. This could be a belief that there's not enough time to finish a project, fear that you won't have enough money to retire, or feeling like you're behind everyone else in some way. Challenge negative beliefs, once you've identified these thoughts, challenge them. Ask yourself if they're really true, and consider alternative possibilities. Maybe you have more time than you think, or maybe there are steps you could take to improve your financial situation. Focus on gratitude, cultivating an attitude of gratitude can shift your focus from what you lack to what you have. Regularly express gratitude for what you already have, and you may start to see that you have more than you thought. Cultivate an abundance mindset, actively look for evidence of abundance in your life and in the world. This could be the abundance of time, opportunities, relationships, or even nature's abundance in a garden or forest. This helps to counterbalance the focus on scarcity. Take action, rather than avoiding risks out of fear of scarcity, take proactive steps towards your goals. This could mean investing in yourself, starting a new project, or seeking new opportunities. Practice generosity. Generosity is an expression of abundance. By giving to others, whether it's your time, resources, or attention, you can reinforce the idea that there's enough to go around. Mindfulness and meditation, these practices can help you stay centered and not get caught up in worries about the future or the past. They can help you to appreciate what you have in the present moment. Changing your mindset takes time, but it's definitely achievable. As you shift your focus towards abundance and take action to support your goals, you're likely to see changes in your life I that reflect this new that. perspective. I know I did uh, when I looked at it. So there it is. That's how you do it. If you have any questions about the plugins or whether you should get uh, Pro Chat GPT, uh, let me know in the comment box below and you may also respond to others. So thank you for watching and enjoy the benefits of Chat GPT. Thank you.